Hi, I'm Stu Miniman, Senior Analyst with Wikibon. I want to talk about the business drivers for hyperconverged infrastructure leading the way towards enterprise cloud. Uh, when we talk to users today, there is often a mandate uh, coming to companies uh, to engage with the cloud. Now, as that trickles down a lot of times, you know, what does that mean? Does that mean I go all in on public cloud? Do I have some transformation of what I'm doing in my environment? And well, what we find users are doing is they're actually doing multiple environments. When we talk about hybrid cloud today, that usually means that they have a combination of public cloud usage, software as a service, such as CRM and others, as well as what they're doing on-premises. When we look at enterprise cloud, we really hope to clear up some of the confusion about what infrastructure I'm managing and where some of my application goes. So first of all, we need to change the overall consumption model of infrastructure. It needs to be much simpler. And this is where hyperconvergence comes into the story. Hyperconvergence helps standardize a lot of what we're doing as well as simplifying it, both from the installation of what's going in as well as version and control. One of the great things about public cloud is nobody asks, hey, what version of AWS or Azure are you running? They take care of that. When Wikibon wrote the true private cloud definition, we said that you should have the same type of environment which means I should push more of the, the labor, the work, onto the vendors and the platforms. So things like version and control need to be a lot simpler uh, because that really is one of those activities in the data center that really bogs our people down. That's why we have over 70% of operations on, quote, keeping the lights on. So that public-private cloud discussion is not binary. What enterprise cloud should enable is that both you choose the tools that you need today and you have the flexibility to move, move the workloads, move the applications where you need. And that is, once again, not necessarily one way, but some things for certain times of year or for certain reasons are going to be uh, in one location, both or spread between them. So hyperconverged hyper infrastructure as a foundational piece of your enterprise cloud are going to allow you to reduce some of the care, feeding, and maintenance of your infrastructure. And that's going to help free up your resources. So if IT resources, uh, we know that the IT staff uh, has a limit as to what they can do. And if I can spend less time running around the data center, keeping things up and running, I will have more time uh, to be able to focus on the needs of the business, help grow and transform where I need to go, and be more agile to respond to things as they come forward. Uh, from a number standpoint, Wikibon sees a huge opportunity to go past traditional storage. Uh, hyperconvergence really eliminates those migration costs. So both when you bring a new solution in to when you update it and expand it to when you eventually uh, pull it out of an environment. If I have a pool of resources, uh, rather than having uh, standalone arrays, there's over 30% of the total cost of ownership can be eliminated uh, from what we're doing. And also, when I'm buying with smaller building blocks, I can really increase my utilization. So many companies, when they bought traditional storage or even converged infrastructure, they have to do that dark art of forecasting. And if you're buying something and that's the infrastructure that I'm going to have for three years, I'm most likely going to either underutilize it or have to scramble to put more environments in. So a smaller building block that acts from a software standpoint as a pool is going to be a much simpler environment uh, to be able to start with, to grow with, and to run my business on, allowing me to focus on the true business drivers rather than keeping things up and running. See wikibon.com for all the research on true private cloud, server SAN, hyperconvergence, and more. And thank you for joining us for this segment.